welcome back to my channel you guys you know i got another unboxing another review for you guys today is actually christmas so merry christmas to you guys i know it's late but you know that day i was doing this it was christmas today i'm going to be unboxing the social light um led 18 inch ring light i feel like i haven't done a voiceover in like forever so you know i decided to do one today so you're welcome I know I go to the gym and all, but that light was heavy as well. So basically today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put this light together. No, I did not use instructions. I probably should have. But, you know, I felt like I can wing this and it will turn out okay as always. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bust open this box real quick. You know, flippy, flippy, flippy. Um, a piece of paper came in that box. It dropped on the floor. And it said, um... It's a social light, so I just, you know, I felt like, okay, I know this. Let me toss that real quick. Um, the first thing we're going to do is pull this bag out with the light in it, of course. And we're going to, you know, try to act like we're the commercial and, you know, swingy, swingy, swingy room. Um, as you guys probably know, it does come with a tripod. Obviously, to put it together, you need the tripod and the ring light. And we're going to take this out the bag and set it up. So on this part, I knew from the last ring light that I had, the newer ring light, that I would have to bend the legs all the way to the other side, if that makes any sense. You're about to see me do it. But the first time when I had the newer ring light, I was like, okay, I'm going to break this thing. But I realized I'm not going to break it. This is how it's supposed to go. So I just assumed with this ring light that the legs were supposed to do the same thing, which actually meant I could have broke it in the long run. Right now we're going to check and make sure the legs are not broken um, and then after that we're going to adjust the height of the tripod, make sure everything's working fine, make sure it can, um, you know, go up smoothly, everything's working properly. Okay, with the ring light that I got, it's the LED, so it has the little dots around the ring. The old light that I had was a fluorescent, so it had like a pipe around. Um, what you're gonna have to do is put the plates on the ring light. It took me forever to do this to make sure everything was clipped properly, but make sure everything is laying flat. And you know, this is me like being extra and still trying to make sure everything is flat. I'm not satisfied with it yet. I just keep feeling like there's something wrong, so I'm still touching it and make sure everything's flat. Now that I believe that everything is smooth and all, I'm going to put the ring light onto the tripod. Um, you can see where both pieces clip together. You adjust the knobs that are on the sides of the ring light and you put it onto the tripod. Make sure everything is tight, wiggle it around, and make sure everything is moving properly. It actually dawned on me that this thing is really tall, so I need to bring it down to my level. And also because I have a fan up there and I don't want that thing to get hit because that did happen to my other ring light at one point. Right here I'm just trying to make sure everything is flat and I feel like nothing's flat so I'm going to be sitting here checking that for a long period, a lot of time. Um, I did find a little bubble space. You guys want to make sure the whole plate is flat on there and nothing's lifted up. You got to look real close and see and make sure everything is clipped on. You should hear a clip on every side that the plates are on. There are four plates. Make sure that they're clipped on properly. And also what I didn't realize was that one of the pieces are supposed to be at the bottom. Make sure you put that piece on first before any other piece to clip the other three pieces on. Now, of course, you know, we gotta, you know, make sure this thing has power. So I'm gonna take these power cords, unwrap them, plug them into the LED light, bring it down, click, connect the other power cord to that power cord. You're gonna see in just a second. 
plug it into the wall and we're gonna light this man up. Is anybody dramatic like me? Like, this was even that much work, but I'm like tired and exhausted. And I'm like, let's do this thing because I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> this light blew me away. Like, that's the lowest setting. And I was like, okay. Then I start cranking this beat up. And then this thing just kept getting stronger and stronger. I was like, oh, God is in the room. <laughs> God had to be in the room. <laughs> that thing goes up pretty high. Then of course I had to try it out in the dark so you guys could see how it's working, how it's looking. Um, that light overpowered my room so you know, that's exactly what I needed from it. <laughs> so I'm showing the light on me um, in different settings. This is the lowest setting that I had the light on without my diffuser. I did not put my diffuser on yet. This is the second setting that I have my light on. I feel like it's more of a mediocre setting. And like I said, these are without the diffuser, so the light is a little harsh, but it's okay. And this is the last setting. I think it's the highest setting without my diffuser. And I will definitely be catching you guys soon. Follow my social media down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.